you didn't already know, the brake lever that operates either your front or back brake isn't always on the same side for every bike worldwide. In most countries, it's the left lever that operates your front brake, but in the UK and Australia, it's often your right. Now, also called moto style because apparently that's where motorbikes have their front brake. But I wouldn't know. Anyway, it doesn't really matter which side it's on until, of course, you get on a bike where it's set up the wrong way around, at which point it's actually just extremely dangerous. So here is a simple how-to guide for if you ever get a bike where the brakes are set up the wrong way around. To start with, we need to remove both the front and back inner cables. So to do that, it's simply a case of undoing the cable cinch bolt down at the caliper and removing the cable end cap if need be. I find that to actually get the cable out, it really helps to pull the brake lever on and then you can get the cable end out much more easily up here. With the inner cables removed, the unfortunate reality now is that we're likely to have to untape our handlebars in order to swap the cable outers over. So what I mean is, the cable outer that did used to house your front brake is now going to have to do the back brake, and therefore it's going to have to be the right length to do your back brake. And unfortunately, as you can see from here, it's not. If by some quirk of fate you're in luck, then you just have to replace the cables the right way around now. But most of us, I imagine, are going to have to swap those two. Now, to remove the cable outer completely, just very carefully cut that electrical tape. Our cable outer is now free. With your cable outers now removed, it's time to move on to re-threading your inner cables again. Hopefully you can reuse the old ones, it just depends on what the end looks like. So if you cut it properly or it didn't fray in the first place, you should be okay. If there is any fraying, then it's unlikely you'll be able to get them back through your shifters and the cables, in which case you need to replace them. This one is absolutely fine. With the brakes now all swapped over, I do think it is a very good idea to check to make sure that everything is working 100% before you bother retaping your handlebars. Just because if there is an issue now, then you can save yourself quite a bit of hassle. But that's all good to go. The wrong way for me now. So I'll just pop it back. So there you go then, it's not exactly a quick process, but it is relatively straightforward. Simply remove the inner cables, unwrap your bar tape, swap the outer cables over, and then re-thread your inner cables again. If you need any help with any of those specific things, like setting your brakes up or bar tape, then you can get through to a video about your brakes and how to do your bar tape just over there. And if there's anything in the workshop that you particularly want to see how it's done, like someone in fact requested this video, then please let us know in the comments section and we'll see what we can do. Otherwise, before you go, just make sure you've subscribed. You can do that by clicking on my Moto Style Brakes. Moto. <laughs>